Hi everyone, my name is Prince Di Costa and my topic is for environmental subject is what is wind energy. So now we will see what is energy. So let us see the definition of energy. So energy is defined as the capacity of doing work. For example, to play, to stand up. So we can say if someone is doing a lot of work, that means that particular person have lot of energy. And someone is doing a little bit of work, then it means this person has a little bit of energy. So anything which has the capacity to push the matter from one place to another possesses the energy. There are various forms of energies such as heat, light, sound, etc. So in the universe whole things are in forms of energies. So we can say there are lot of various forms of energies. For example, like heat energy, sound energy. What are the sources of energies? The sources from which we get energy are called the sources of energy. For example, wind energy, solar energy, fossil fuels. There are two main sources of energies. They are conventional sources of energy and non-conventional sources of energy. Conventional sources of energy can be defined as non-renewable sources of energy which has been used for long time for example of conventional sources of energy is coal petroleum wood natural gas etc non-conventional sources of energy can be described as as the renewable sources of energy which has been continuously replenished by the natural process for example of non-conventional sources of energy are solar energy wind energy bio energy hydropower energy etc wind energy in our day-to-day -day life today we are going to see different types of energy sources that is renewable and non-renewable energy now we are going to see what is renewable energy renewable energy is a energy which generates natural sources that is sun wind rain tide and can be generated again and again as and when required now Main form of renewable energy wind energy, hydro energy, solar energy, biofuel energy, and geothermal energy. But from in this, only we are going to see wind energy. Second one is non renewable energy. A non-renewable energy or resource is a natural resource that cannot be remade or regrowed at the scale of comparable to its consumption. Like renewable resources we can use again and again, but non-renewable energy we cannot use again, only you can use for one. In non-renewable energy, nuclear, oil that we cannot use again natural gas or the coal this is all our non renewable only we can use for once we cannot renew we are only going to see what is wind energy wind energy is created when the atmosphere is heated unevenly by the sun some patch of air become warmer then other this warm patches of air rise other air rushes in 
to replace them thus wind blow how wind energy converted into electricity wind turbine convert the kinetic energy in wind into rotational power that run a generator to produce a clean energy student you can see in diagram that there was wind means there were three blades that rotate blade because of wind and generate electricity historical reference of wind energy the history of mankind's use of the wind as an energy source is surprisingly long in fact it could be classified as one of the humanity's oldest power sources to trace wind energy back to its ultimate roots we need to go back in time beyond the down to recorded history people have been using wind energy for thousands of years people use wind energy to propel boats along the nile river as early as 5000 bc by 2000 200 bc simple wind powered water pumps were used in china windmill with women reed blades were grinding grains in persia and the middle east ancient sails the first use of wind energy sailing has a long and illustrious history going back surprisingly 8000 years the use of seaworthy boats have been noted as back 45000 bce by the colonization of australia sail technology uses wind as power or energy source which comes from eastern europe whose ceramic depicts sailing boats around 6th millennium bce mesopotamian evidence from slightly later also provides evidence of sailing boats and later around 3200 bce sails had been deployed in egypt a range of diverse world cultures have made use of this technology from polynesian cultures to imperial china to europe during the age of sails as early as 3000 bc people used wind energy for the first time in the form of sail boats in egypt sails capture the energy in wind to pull a boat across the water they were going in only one direction with the wind they were also using the wind energy to guess the direction with the help of wind and according to that they used to change the navigation in modern ships they only used to know the direction of wind and yacha used with wind to have sports activities or sailing modern use of wind energy wind power is an alternative energy source this means that the power of wind can be used in place of other energy sources such as coal oil and nuclear reactions wind can be used to produce electricity that heats home and light street and buildings wind power is harnessed by a machine called a wind turbine which produces electricity a group of wind turbines called a wind farm can be used to provide electricity to a community small turbines provide power for individual homes Wind turbines used to be called windmills. The Dutch used windmills to pump water out of the low-lying areas near the sea. Here we will learn a few advantages of wind energy. In the first place, wind energy is a clean source of energy. If we take the energy which is produced from fossils, there is a lot of pollution. like in a thermal power center the coal is burned for producing energy and so there's a lot of pollution which takes place opposite to it when we think of wind energy which uses wind turbines to generate electricity there is no pollutions or pollutants which are given out okay so it is a clean and green source of energy wind energy is also space saving that is it can be done together with farming 
the wind turbines can be installed in the fields without disturbing the farming which takes place there. So also it can be used or the wind turbines can be installed in the sea without disturbing anybody. The third advantage is it is cost effective. That is in a thermal power plant we have to use coal and it is not just one time till the machine runs. We have to use coal and we have to invest money for the coal which is used as fuel. Whereas when we come to wind energy, once you have installed the turbines with minimum maintenance, they will go on without any fuel required for their running. So it is a one-time investment. Only once we have to pay and so it is very cost effective. Now the disadvantages of wind energy is that First one is there are, is a huge construction cost. When we put up any turbine, we have to spend a lot of money. So that is one of the disadvantages of wind energy. Secondly, wind energy is harmful for birds and bats. We take for example, and as we see in the pictures here, the turbines when they move, the blades of the turbine, Sometimes unknowingly the birds are hit by these turbines and they get killed. And not just birds, also bats in the night. The third disadvantage of wind energy is that it is unpredictable. Like when there is no wind, there will be no movement of the turbines and so the no power will be generated. So also if there is a storm and the wind is blowing very harshly, we have to switch off the turbines. Thus we can say that it is unpredictable in the sense that we are not very sure if we will get continuous power supply. And also the wind turbines are very noisy. When the wind turbine blades move through the air, they cause a lot of noise which can be disturbing to people. So that is also a disadvantage of wind energy. Development of wind energy in India. The growth of wind energy in India has been very consistent. India cumulative annual growth rate in wind energy since 2002 is 24.1 percent. Tamil Nadu has always been the leader among Indian states in the installation of wind energy. It has the capacity of 7,276 megawatts wind energy. Maharashtra is closely following Tamil Nadu with 4,098 megawatts of installed wind energy. Gujarat Rajasthan and Karnataka also contribute in increasing the share of wind energy in India. All these states have installed more than 2000 megawatts wind energy. Now the top 5 wind power farms operating in India. Mupandal Wind Farm. It is situated in Kanyakumari district of the Indian states of Tamil Nadu. The 1,500 megawatts Mupandal wind farm is the country's largest onshore wind farm. Now next is Jaisalmer wind park. Jaisalmer wind park is the country's second largest onshore wind project. The 1,064 megawatts project is located in Jaisalmer district of Rajasthan. Brahmanville Wind Farm. The 528 megawatts Brahmanville Wind Farm is located in Maharashtra and has been developed by Prakash Agro Industries. The other places, Maharashtra, which have a large number of power generating facilities, include Sangli and Panchagani. Dalgaon Wind Farm. 
द टू हंड्रेड एंड सेवेंटी एट मेगा वॉट्स दालगाव विंड फार्म इज लोकेटेड इन सांगली महाराष्ट्र द इन्वेस्टर फ्रेंडली पॉलिसीज मेक महाराष्ट्र वन ऑफ द बेस्ट स्टेट्स टू इन्वेस्ट इन विंड एनर्जी वंकुसवाड़ी विंड पार्क महाराष्ट्र इज ऑल्सो होम टू टू हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी नाइन मेगा वॉट्स वंकुसवाड़ी विंड पार्क विच इज़ वन ऑफ द इंडियाज लार्जेस्ट विंड पावर प्रोड्यूसिंग फैसिलिटी प्रोडक्शन फैसिलिटीज Wind is renewable energy that can be used for various purposes. Some of the uses of wind energy in our lives are to generate wind power. It is one of the most popular use of wind energy. It is to generate electricity. During this process, a wind turbine harnesses the energy of wind as the wind starts to move the blades of the turbine are uh, generate starts to turn which then produce electricity the second use is in transportation another use of wind energy is in transportation in earlier times also we used to use wind energy for our transportation through ships even in recent times we have seen both small and large ships capable of sailing under the power of wind then the third use of wind energy is for wind sport more enjoyable use of wind energy is for sports and activities that depends on the power of wind for example wind surfing land sailing kite boarding kite surfing etc then the fourth kind of use of wind energy is in food production wind energy has been traditionally used in food production earlier wind mills were widely used for milling grains so that it could produce food such as bread even in recent times we can even get flower much more efficiently the fifth kind of use of wind energy is in pumping water it can also use for pumping the water through the use of wind pump thank you